<laughs> oh, just wait till Pierre stands back up again. The Honourable Member for Belleau et Chambly. Mr. Speaker. Child care is a Quebec's and provincial jurisdiction. Dental insurance is Quebec's and the provinces. Uh, Medicare, Pharmacare is the same. Infrastructure, municipal infrastructure is the same. The Prime Minister has a fascination for Quebec's and provincial jurisdiction. I want to ask the Prime Minister this. Has he already considered to really going into what interests him to run in his pref preferred province, which is Ontario. The Right Honourable Prime Minister, Mr. Speaker, I want to remind my friend from the Bloc that I'm a proud Quebecer and I will always be so. And I am not going to have this proud identity taken away from me. Yes, I am concerned about the fate of Quebecers and that of all Canadians, and that is why we are working with the provinces like Quebec to invest in more childcare spaces. We invest uh, 600 million by investing in child care to help Quebec to deliver on these child care uh, spaces. This was a promise we made with Premier Legault. We'll continue to be there to be the Honourable Member for Belle et Chambly. I'm not convinced that the Quebec government is saying the same thing as the Prime Minister of Canada is. Uh, and I'm still proud to be a Quebecer, but in my case, I'm so proud that I have confidence in Quebec, and I think that this should be a country. And I'm not sure that he has the same amount of confidence. Can the Prime Minister recognize that all these interferences in Quebec and provincial areas of jurisdiction are funded exclusively by the uh, everlasting fiscal imbalance? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, I am so proud to be a Quebecer that I find my place in Canada like all Quebecers do. We are proud to be Canadians and to be Quebecers, and for most of us, there is no choice to be made between the two. We can be proud of being Quebecer and a Canadian at the same time. We will continue to be there to invest hand in hand along with the province of Quebec uh, to deliver for Quebec, as we do with our partners across the country. But in fact, Quebec is often ahead when it comes to social issues and social programs and investing. And that's why we model much of what we do on what is being done in Quebec. The Honourable Member from Burnaby South. Jagmeet. Young people see right through this Prime Minister. They know they're getting ripped off and they know the reason for it. Today, rent is doubled, grocery prices are sky high, and we're paying some of the highest cell phone bills in the world. The reason is because of corporate greed. This Prime Minister refuses to take it on, and the Conservatives, they're afraid anytime we mention corporate greed because they want to defend those corporations. So when will the Liberals finally take on... There are some members in this place who... Oh, my God, bro. Here he goes again with his little power tripping. Uh, ...or ask his question. Uh, so I'm going to ask the Honourable Member from Burnaby South... You know what? I like where the chat's mind is. Drop an L in chat. Members... ...for Jagmeet. ...the House to please hold uh, yourselves until you have the opportunity to be recognized by the Speaker to ask a question or to answer the question. The Honourable Member from Burnaby South... Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I know what happens. Anytime I take on corporate greed, the consumers get really upset because we're taking on their masters, so they get upset about it. But I'll be careful not to say too much because I know the conservatives get so angry when we mention corporate greed. But what happens is young people are seeing they're getting ripped off with rent, they're getting ripped off with groceries, getting ripped off with, with the high cost of cell phone fees, and they know it's because of corporate greed. The conservatives don't want me to talk about this, but will the liberals take on corporate greed, which is driving up the cost of living. The right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, we recognize with this budget that Canada cannot be successful unless young people are successful, unless every generation sees a real and fair chance to succeed. That's why we're stepping up to invest uh, in new homes that young people are going to be able to afford, in making sure that their rent payments count towards a credit score to get them a mortgage eventually. We're investing in uh, more uh, more in support for Canadians living with disabilities. More, uh, more, uh, more. In supports for seniors. We're investing in entrepreneurship 
for young people. We're making the kinds of investments that are going to grow the economy, support young people, and restore the dream of a stronger Canada for everyone. Oh my God, he doesn't even believe his own crap. The Honourable Member for Burnaby South. Mention corporate greed, which is driving up the cost of living. Yeah. Les jeunes se font... Young people are getting ripped off uh, at the grocery store. They know it. They go to Loblaws and they're seeing record profits being taken in. And yesterday's Liberal budget does nothing to resolve this. Uh, they're continuing, that is, Loblaws and Metro are continuing to get rich with uh, billions from the government. Why will the Prime Minister not call them to order instead of making young people pay? The right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, this budget does recognize that the success of our country depends on the success of young people. That's why we are asking the wealthiest to pay a bit more in taxes, income taxes, in order to be able to share more benefits with young people, to be able to ensure that young families can pay their rents and buy a home so that young families can have a better access to the services and care they need, particularly when it comes to uh, child care. We will continue to be here to support families in need and asking the wealthiest to do more. Oh, my God, man. The you make any money in Canada and they 